welcome to Gurga Chills Estate. Uh, my name is Lauren. Thank you for joining us this week. Um, today I'm showcasing our Sauvignon Blancs. Um, it's a perfect day for Sauv Blanc, being that it's sunny and warm here in Napa Valley. I'm not sure how it is where you are. Um, a little bit about Sauvignon Blanc is that we grow ours in a much cooler area in Napa Valley, the very southern tip. Um, American Canyon in Carneros. Uh, as I said, it's cooler, so it slows the ripening of Sauv Blanc, um, keeping the acidity there, making them nice, uh, fresh, crisp, lively type wines. Um, we make a Fumé Blanc and then our Essence. Um, can't really tell here the difference in the color but our Fumé Blanc does have a little bit of a smoky tint to it, and I will tell you why. So uh, back in the 60s, Milenko Gergich worked for Robert Mondavi, where they made Sauvignon Blanc uh, fermented in stainless steel. At the time, Sauvignon Blancs were typically not so food friendly. Um, they were either boring or way too sweet. Uh, typically made sweet because of North America's uh, fondness of the sweets. Um, and it just wasn't selling very well. So uh, Mr. Mondavi decided, well, in France they're making Puy Fumé, and that seems to be doing all right. So let's call our Sauvignon Blanc Fumé Blanc, meaning smoky white, and we will ferment it and age it in oak. So, um, that's what they did, and it became this beautiful, dry, crisp Sauvignon Blanc. And um, being that Mr. Mondavi did not patent that name, Fumé Blanc, he wanted anyone else who wanted to age their Sauvignon Blanc in oak to be uh, able to use Fumé as well. So Mr. Gergich, when um, he and Mr. Hill started their winery here, uh, loved the nice, dry, crisp Sauvignon Blanc so much that that's what he started making here. So our Fumé Blanc comes out of American Canyon and Carneros Vineyards. 80% of the grapes um, juice is fermented in large oak casks called Fudra. And then it is blended with 20% um, of the juice that is fermented in neutral oak. Then it goes to age for six months in neutral oak. So you're not getting big oakiness. It's dry, it's crisp. Um, on the nose, you get a little, you get a little lemon rind, uh, like fresh, fresh zest, some grapefruit, maybe a little hint of passion fruit. Um, it even comes off as like, not caramel, kind of like a softer, dulce de leche. And in flavor, uh, you definitely get some grapefruit, some really nice acidity, maybe a hint of jalapeno pepper. Um, so it just pairs perfectly. Fish tacos, uh, ceviche, sushi, something um, that you would normally want to squeeze a little citrus on, and this would be it. Our essence. Essence is a little different in that it is selected from the very best of the best in our Carneros vineyard. It is um, not fermented and then aged in oak barrels. It is all fermented and aged in the large oak casks called Fudra. So not imparting any oakiness, but really um, just taking the sugar from the juice, it's not sweet. As I said, that cool temperature in the southern tip of the valley really makes for a nice, crisp acidity. Um, there's also really great floral notes on our essence. Uh, it's definitely more tropical, more tropical, more floral, uh, lemon, verbena, and uh, 
why is it called Essence? Because our winemakers truly believe it to be the essence of a Napa Valley soft love. Uh, and they went ahead and put a patent on that name so no one else can call their soft love the essence. And it it's beautiful with um, a nice spicy dish. I make a Kung Pao shrimp and it just cuts right through that spice. That spicy nachos. Trust me, from experience, this is perfect. And of course, any seafood dish, any light chicken, grilled chicken dish that you want to make, perfect pairing. Um, I think that's all I have to say about Sa Blanc. Thank you for joining, and join us next week for what we have to showcase again.